finding the value for a new score that will yield a given mean. Salma has scored 82, 94, 84, 73, and 91 on her previous five tests. What score does she need on her next test so that her average, or the mean, is 84? Okay, so she wants a B average on her test. This is what she has so far. She's trying to figure out, well, what do I have to get on my next one to keep this average right here? So if we look at what it means to calculate the average, right? I know that I'm going to have all together six tests. One, two, three, four, five, plus the new one that she's taking, okay? Um, and to find the average, I would add those up. So 82 plus 94 plus 84 plus 73 plus 91 plus, I'm going to put X for this new test that we don't know yet. That's what we're trying to figure out. But if I wanted the average of those six tests, I, after I added it up, I would divide by six. And I want the average to be... 84. So I'm just setting up an equation here. Okay? Now I'm just going to solve for x. So the first thing I need to do is kind of try to simplify this big fraction here a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and just add all of those numbers together. Okay? So 82 plus 94 plus 84 plus 73 plus 91. So that gives me 424. So the first five tests gave her a total of 424 points plus she's going to take this one more test. And then if we divide it by 6, we want the average to be 84. So now I just keep solving this equation. The very first thing I have to do is kind of get rid of this big fraction bar here. It's acting as a grouping symbol, and it's keeping these terms in the top kind of linked together until I get rid of it. So to get rid of this divide by 6, I'm going to do the inverse of multiplying by 6. Okay, so the 6's will cancel. I'm left with 424 plus x on the left, and on the right, okay, 84 times 6 gives me 504. Okay, now I'm still trying to get the x by itself, so I need to get rid of this plus 424 that's being added here. So the inverse to that is subtract 424. Okay, so that'll leave me with just x on the left, and 504 minus 424 on the right that leaves me 80. So this last test, the missing one, she would have to score at least 80 to keep her average at 84.